All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a little look at some professional skid-proof grips for your PS4 controller. And um, if you haven't seen my previous video on King's consoles, it was describing um, an issue I've had with my scuff controller. In fact, I'll just show you right here. Uh, so yeah, I've got a bit of um, fading, or I don't know what it says. It's just the rubber portion on my scuff controller. So I was kind of looking for a bit of a solution, and through my trolls through Amazon.com. I came across this product, the Professional Skid Proof Grips. Um, we'll take a little closer look at the box and, and what they do. But effectively, I just want to cover up the the mess on the back of my controller. But at the same time, still getting a bit of um, grip on the back. Uh, now, this product, I believe, is sold under many different names. Uh, I think it was Pandarn was the name on Amazon.com. But yeah, I think different companies um, sell this product uh, under different names, but the overall box and packaging is the exact same. So let's run through it. So on the front it says it's the greatest accessory uh, for your play and protected safety. Um, thunder pattern. So we we'll see that there is some actually lightning. I don't want to point out, but yeah, it's not thunder. It's lightning. Um, hang in play. So they just kind of hang over the top of the shoulder buttons and clip onto the bottom. Apparently it uh, blocks sweat. As you can see, these little tiny tears. Sad tears being blocked out, and it's got rubber texture as well. Ideal for PS, I guess it's PS4 only. They decided to go for Roman numerals for some reason. Um, it shows you, so there must be a punch out. I guess it must be black and white. So if there's a black variant, they'll probably have removed whatever's necessary with packaging. Uh, it's apparently got an official license by Project Design. You can see kind of Chinese writing there. Now, there's actually a QR code on. Is it the back? No, what is it? Ah, inside. Two and one. So if you do scan this QR code, I've done it while I was, um, before I played this video, it takes you to this effect of this company. So I think that design, project design, make this product and they said other companies just buy them and rebrand them as their own, but there's no sign of their brand on the actual box. Um, same again, professional skid proof grips. Uh, on the back, professional skid proof grips, essential needs. So you can tell that the English isn't the best. This product is designed to solve the issue of gamers whose hands sweat a lot while they're holding their console mm, for long periods of time. Don't particularly hold the console, hold the controller, but I can understand where they're going. For this reason, having a non slippery handhold is seen as a crucial need for every gamer. Yes, you need to make sure you have non slippery handholds. Uh, eco material. The surface of the skid proof grip is coated in a rubber texture of which is eco friendly, non toxic, and soft. This particular texture certainly enhances gamer performance by reducing the tension of holding the controller for too long. Don't have it slippery, of course. Hang and play. Um, An easy installation has is seen. Um, I guess it may be as seen as an important element to users. For this reason, there is no any, there is no any, this is there is no any special need for installing these lovely grips. The only thing you have to do is hang to, the only thing you have to do is to hang them on your console peacefully. So make sure we do it peacefully. And you can kind of see here, that's your controller, there's the grips, hang over the top. We'll see how easy it is. Uh, all the products name listed above are trademark or registered trademark of the representative holders. Fair enough. Um, on the side, as I showed you before, so we've got a bit of warnings here. Do not stand on your items, I think. Don't give it any poison. Um, don't feed it to sad water. It's zero to three years old, so make sure zero to three years old don't stand on it. Don't put it in the flaming torch, I don't know, the human torch, and don't let pack money tip. Um, yeah, so that's, that's me spent about four minutes purely just in the packaging, so apologies about that. Let's get into the actual item itself, which there's not much to it, I'm guessing. Uh, nothing inside the box. At least it comes in these little plastic bags. Yeah, so there's your thunder design. Like I said, it's technically lightning, but we won't hold it against them. Thunder and lightning, they go together. And there's the other side. 
so much the same, just a different pattern. So let's try and figure this out. Which side is which? Let's see if they actually fit first. So I'm guessing this is this side. Mm, yeah, that looks about right. So I'm going to hold down. This seems to be the thinnest bit of the plastic, so I want to make sure that that doesn't snap. So it should just snap in place. Oh, it seems pretty tight. Don't know how long it'll last though. That I think that might snap eventually. Uh, so that's not. It seems pretty secure anyway. And it looks the part. We're going to the the fending side. So same again. We'll make sure we hold on to the the top like so. I want to make sure this doesn't snap. At least I can get some usage out of it. Mm, that seems a bit. Bro, am I better going for the bottom? Now nah, we'll go for the top. We'll hold it at the top. Let's just go for it. One, two, three. Yeah, that's worked. It's not snapped so far. Yeah, they they could be a bit thin at the top. Um, doesn't appear to be causing any problems with hitting my my L one and R one, which I tend to use these as my triggers when I'm playing first person shooters. Um. Doesn't look too bad in the controller actually. At least it's white. Kind of makes my control look kind of off white now because I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera or not. Um, but yeah, because this is so white, the plastic kind of different kind of plastic um, looks good in the back. I mean, to be fair, uh, the play your trigger movements not hindered in any way at all. Your paddles are still accessible. Um, it does actually look it gives a bit more chunk to the the controller. It sits quite nicely, so that'll don't think that'll be moving anywhere soon. Uh, obviously on the front, we've now got this kind of added to the bit of design, the black and white. Um, fuel in the hand, you know what? It's been actually working better for me because I've got big hands. Um, and that seems quite comfortable. It certainly feels better than having that fusty, um, oh yeah, just know, fusty in Scottish means not very nice. So fusty um, grips in the back. So this could work as long as this one concern is if these don't snap, because you see they just kind of hang, but they, it seems pretty secure. I don't think it's going to fall off at all. Um, so yeah, I'll give a little better look at it. But the, the material does actually feel really nice. So definitely the grip of the job of grip. Um, I may actually swap out these paddles. I've got a couple of spare ones. Well, I've got another scuff controller which um, has better paddles and not as worn. But these. I said before these function pretty fine but yeah i mean it's just a review of the the professional skid proof grips and i suppose i have to play with them for a little while i can if you want me to do a follow-up just put a little note in the comments um saying you want to do a follow-up video maybe playing it after a month or so and seeing how they do um if they break i'll let you know i'll do a follow-up video and show you if these actually will break although well, they do seem to be sitting okay um yeah that seems actually pretty nice so that's what it looks like for the front but we'll show you the the back because this is really where the the main information the main highlight is. Um yeah, that's it guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh I might give a bit of follow-up if you want, so tell me in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you think about these. Do you think they actually look better on the controller? Do you think they add to the controller? Do you think they look naff and nasty? And I should probably get something different instead. Um the first impressions will look okay. Um these weren't expensive and they do look they do the job. And I like the fact that they're white and black, so they kind of um go with my scuff controller but if Dave cleans consoles then catch again very soon bye for now